Hello, this is Dr. Bev Knox, and this is the introduction for my psychology tutorials, Learn Psychology While You Sleep. I will be reading from Psychology in Modules, 11th edition, and that is by Dr. David G. Myers, also C. Nathan DeWall. You can either read or follow along with me or just listen to these audio recordings. I chose to do audio instead of video because the intent of this channel is simply to learn psychology while you sleep. I will have a series of psych tutorials, uh, up to 50 different tutorials for you. I will be talking very slow in order for the, um, the learner or the student to benefit from listening to these audio recordings at night while trying to fall asleep. This in itself is a challenge for me because I am known to be, hmm, how do I put this nicely, very assertively loud in my, uh, in my normal uh, video lectures. Okay, so again, I will be purposefully reading very, very slow um, while doing these psychology tutorials. I would like you to go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Dr. Bev Knox, subscribe to this channel, turn on the notifications to receive new psychology tutorial information. Uh, you may also go ahead and share recordings from this channel. Okay, again, this is the introduction uh, to my psychology tutorials, learn psychology while you sleep. Now, let's go over the story of psychology. Harvard astronomer Owen Gendrich reported that there are more than 100 billion galaxies. One of these our own relative speck of a galaxy has a few hundred billion stars. Yes, I said billion with a B. Many of which, like our sun star, are circled by planets. On the scale of outer space, we are less than a single grain of sand on all the oceans, beaches, and our lifetime but a relative nanosecond. Yet there is nothing more awe-aspiring and absorbing than our own inner space. Our brain is by far the most complex physical object known to us in the entire cosmos. Our consciousness, our mind, somehow arising from matter, remains a profound mystery. Our thinking, emotions, and actions fascinate us. Outer space strangers us with the enormity, but inner space enthralls us. Enter psychological science. For people whose exposure to psychology comes from the news and popular media, psychologists seem to analyze personality after counseling, dispense child raising advice, examine crime scenes, and testify in court. Do they? Yes, and much more. Consider some of psychology's questions that you may wonder about. Have you ever found yourself reacting to something as one of your biological parents would? Perhaps in a way you vowed you never would. And then wondered how much of your personality you inherited. To what extent do genes predispose our person-to-person -person differences in personality? To what extent do home and community environments shape us? Have you ever worried about how to act among people of a different culture, race, gender, or sexual orientation? In what ways are we alike as members of the human family? 
How are we differ? Have you ever awakened from a nightmare and wondered why do ha why do you have such a crazy dream? Why do we dream? Have you ever played peekaboo with a six month old and wondered why the baby finds the game so delightful? The infant reacts as though when you momentarily move behind a door, you actually disappear only to reappear out of thin air. What do babies actually perceive and think? Have you ever wondered what fosters school and work success? Are some people just born smarter? Does sheer intelligence explain why some people get richer, think more creatively, and also relate more sensitively? Have you ever wondered how the internet, video games, and electronic social network affect people? How do today's electronic media influence what we think and how we relate? Have you ever become depressed or anxious and wondered whether you'd feel normal? What triggers our bad moods and our good ones? What's the line between a normal mood swing and a psychological disorder for which somebody should seek help? As we will see in Module 1, psychology is a science that seeks to answer such questions about us all. How and why we think, feel, and act as we do. Again, this is Dr. Bev Knox, and this is the introduction to my psychology tutorials, Learn Psychology While You Sleep. And I will be discussing and reading from Psychology in Modules, the 11th edition by David G. Myers, also by Nathan DeWall. And I will be reading or attempting to read very, very slow to benefit you, the listener. Please subscribe to this channel, Dr. Bev Knox. Turn on notifications to receive new psychology tutorial information. And you may also share recordings from this channel.